guys welcome back to my new video in today's video i'll solve swap two needles in a byte today's problem is very very easy this is only one line code but you need to understand the concept of this problem statement okay first uh, go to problem statement in problem statement you have given a number of n and your task is to swap two needles and you have to find the resulting number okay now understand this uh, what is needle needle is a four bit of aggregation or half of an octet okay and uh, in nibble there are two nibbles in a byte for example 150 decimal value is represented this binary value 8 bit and this uh, 8 bit can divided into two nibbles four into four first four digit and last four digit. to understand this problem first we need to understand approach of this problem statement first we isolate the lower nibble is in this hexadecimal to mark the higher four bits and keep lower bits and then we isolate a higher nibble uh, use bitwise and with this like and formula is uh, this input and bit this is bitwise and and this is hexadecimal to calculate the lower value okay it is for calculate the upper value means higher value then we shift nibbles to new position shift uh, lower nibble left four bits and higher nibble will be moved to right position by four bits then we combine both of shifted nibbles updated then using b2 as one okay now understand this uh, first the in example one the our input is 100 it is uh, decimal it is decimal format and next step is uh, we convert this decimal value into binary value after converting this is binary value then we uh, from this binary value we find we have to find higher value nibble and lower value nibble okay higher value nibble means for la first four is i will write down here easy 0 1 1 0 and 0 1 double 0 okay this is this is a converting 100 this is 100 binary value after converting okay and this per first four bits are higher nibble and this last four bits are lower nibble okay then we swap both of these higher nibble and lower nibble this higher nibble will be lower nibble and this lower nibble convert will be after swapping higher nibble in this uh, diagram you can see this is uh, after converting binary value this is higher value and this is lower value after swapping this will be lower and this will be higher you see how you can see okay then we combine this updated value updated higher and lower nibble value after combining uh, it will be like this this swap binary this this and then after this we uh, convert this binary value into decimal after converting it will be 70 and in output it will show 70 this decimal value updated decimal value okay in next example input is 129 then we convert 129 into binary bits then we uh, will identify first four bits as higher nibble and last four bits as lower nibble okay then we swap this uh, higher nibble and lower nibble after swapping it will be lower and it will be higher after swapping it will be lower and it will be higher okay after swapping then we combine updated swapping higher and lower nibble value after uh, swapping and we combine then it will be uh, like this zero zero this this after combining updated swap value okay then we combine uh, we convert into decimal after converting decimal it will be 24 this value is in decimal is 24 so in output it will show 24 24 okay now go to pseudocode in pseudocode first we isolate lower nibble value using this formula bitwise and and this is for finding lower value and this is for finding higher value bitwise and input into input and bitwise and and this formula then we move to lower nibble to higher nibble position move to lower nibble this uh, this operator shift use for move to leftmost remove it will move left four position and this this uh, sign is means it will 
move right position okay move right position then we combine both of shifted value using bitwise or bitwise or then we will return our final result okay now go to uh, code and uh, this is code first uh, just we simply input and bitwise and and it is for you uh, lower value finding lower value and this is for finding higher value okay using this shift and bitwise and this like this and uh, one more thing uh, the time complexity and space complexity both of is o of one o of one okay now compile and run now submit we solve today's problem see you in next video still in data budget